Hello guys and welcome to this video where I will show you how to quickly and easily leverage trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies on BitGet. If you want to create an account on the platform, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and then you get to exactly this page right here and you can claim up to $4,000 of bonus. If you go down here, you can see with you, if you use the link, all the bonuses that you can get for KYC, for first depositing some money. As you can see right here, that's all the nice benefits that you're getting. So just click on the link, then you will get here. You can enter your details right here on the right side and then you you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this. And the first thing we can do is if you want to deposit with your fiat money, so with US dollars or euro or any other um, fiat currency, you have to um, verify your account. So you go up here to your profile icon and then you click on ID verification. As you can see, you have two different um, um, possibilities that you have here. This one is if you want to use fiat currency trading and you have a daily withdrawal limit of up to 200 BTC. This one here is only for institutions, so you don't need this one. So you can just click right here on start verification. There you enter your country, your name, and then you can choose the document type that you want to use an ID card, a passport, or for example, your driver's license, doesn't matter. You can enter your ID number right here, enter your date of birth and upload pictures as you can see right here. Then you just click on submit and then it takes up to one to three days maybe and then your uh, profile is verified. Once you're done with that you can now use the fiat on-ramp system to buy for example with your currency crypto right here you just go up here to buy crypto and then click on third party payment just click on that then up here you can choose the currency that you want to use so US dollar euro or British pound doesn't really matter let's choose USD in this case type in the amount, for example, 500 USD, and then you can choose the currency that you want to get. You could say, for example, you want a stable coin and then buy some other cryptocurrency with it. That's an option. Or if you can see it right here, you can choose one of these. But of course, later on, you can always change it, exchange it for another currency. So in this case, let's just choose BTC. And then you can choose one of these payment methods. As you can see what they all support. Here you have some other possibilities too. For example, a SEPA bank transfer, but also, for example, Apple Pay or uh, Google Pay and Visa and MasterCard, of course. Um, let's just like, for example, Banks in this case, because it has a lo the lowest price. As you can see right here on the right side, you also can see it takes five to 30 minutes for it to arrive. Then you just have to click on next and continue the process, enter your details, choose your payment method, and then you will get, so this always depends on what service provider you're choosing. It's different for every one of them, but then after you have done the process, then it will take this time until the funds arrive on your account. Next up, I wanna show you how you can also deposit cryptocurrency. So to do that, you just go up here to assets and then click here on assets and then go to deposit right here. And then you can choose the currency that you want to deposit, for example, Bitcoin. Then you can choose the network. So in this case, we just want to use the normal Bitcoin network, the official Bitcoin main network. And then you get your depositing address down here. So you can just copy that to your clipboard and now send Bitcoin to your address that you will see right here if you're in your account. So this works for any cryptocurrency as well. For example, you can see they have many currencies right here. You can search for them or just use, for example, I also want to show you US dollar tether. Just click on it right here. Choose the chain type. As you can see, there are different ones. In this case, I'm going to go for the Tron network because it has lower fees. And then you can see your deposit address right here and copy it. Just always make sure that you have the currency and that you have the right network. For example, if you're um, depositing from another wallet or exchange that you're using the same network. And then uh, always just start maybe with a little deposit, for example, in this case, minimum deposit, just a few dollars to see everything is fine and then send the rest of it. And then, of course, you can always check if the balance is credited. Just go up here to assets, click on assets, and then you can see if the money has arrived in your account. All right. So once you have the money on your account, you can now uh, transfer it to your futures account. So in my case, as you can see down here, I have about $500 and now I want to transfer some of that money to my futures account. So I can just go here to my futures account. As you can see, I have none of it yet here. And you have different um, possibilities. You have the USDTM futures account where you can trade with US dollar tether any different cryptocurrencies, or you can use the coin app futures where you can deposit these cryptocurrencies and then trade these cryptocurrencies with your deposited Bitcoin, for example. In my case, I'm just gonna use USDTM futures. I would also recommend you that because it's just easy. And with USDT, you can always trade any cryptocurrency. So in my case, I want to transfer now my US dollar tether from my spot account right here to my futures account. So I'm just gonna go up here to, and click on transfer. Then I'm gonna select here US dollar tether and then I can go here 
and say from my spot account to my USDTM futures account. And then I can type in the amount. I have, as you can see, around $500 available. In my case, I'm just gonna transfer, for example, 300 US dollar tether just for demonstration. And then I can click on confirm down here. And as you can see, transfer succeeded. And if I go back here to my assets, and then I can see it's only around $200 left. And if I go to my futures account, I now have these $300 on my futures account. All right, so once you're here, we can now hop into the futures trading window and I'm gonna show you all around what's gonna happen there. So we're just gonna go up here to futures and then as you can see, we have these different options and I'm just gonna go to the USDTM futures and then as you can see, you get to this page right here. All right, it might look a little bit complicated at the beginning, but I'm just gonna go step by step through everything right here so you will understand everything that's going on right here. So first of all, up here on the left top, you can choose the trading pair that you want to trade. So in this case, you know, we have US dollar tether deposited, so we have all these USDT down, um, here in the back um, visible because we are trading the USDT um, coin pairs. So you can, for example, select Bitcoin, Ethereum, any of these cryptocurrencies you could trade right here. So let's just stick with Bitcoin for now. So we have it selected, as you can see up here, you can see the price, some other information, which is not that important. And we have the price chart, of course, visible right here. This is just a um, little pop out from trading view. So if you're familiar with that, you can just switch around um, here, for example, we can switch to the 15 minute chart. So each candle right now is 15 minutes, one hour chart. Uh, let's just go back to one minute because then we can actually see more of what's going on right here. And then as you can see right here, of course, you can also, for example, draw into the chart or you can draw some trends light, trend lights um, if you want to do so. Um, so yeah, that's the chart right here. And here on the right side, we have the order book. So all the selling orders up here in the market and all the buying orders in the market down here. And we can switch, for example, to the recent market trades. Down here, this is also a very nice section, which we are gonna go into detail in just a bit, where we can see our open positions and check, for example, our orders, our order history, and yeah, for example, take profit and stop loss. We're gonna go into all of that in just a bit, but you can see that all of that down here. And here on the right side, this is the section where we can control all of our trades. So if you wanna open or close trades, we can do that all right here. And also really nice to see down here, we can also see our equity, so our assets that we have on our futures account. So in my case, I, as you know, I transferred these $300, so I can see them down here. If I want to transfer some more, I can also do it here. For example, if I click on transfer and I can say, okay, from my spot account, I have these $200 left. I want to transfer some more money to my futures account. So that's how you can do it here. Um, or of course, you can also withdraw it back to your spot account. All right, so let's go up here and open our first trade. So we want to open a long position. So up here, first, we can choose our margin. We have the difference between isolated and cross margin. I would recommend you just at the beginning, just go for isolated. The only difference is basically if you would have different positions with different cryptocurrencies open at the same time, your margins or your available um, capital that you have, your own capital, would be calculated all the time um, for cross margin. It would be for all the different positions. Um, and if you have isolated each in uh, each position will be calculated in, um, individually. So just stick with isolated for the beginning. It doesn't really matter, but I would just recommend you just go for isolated. And then here you can choose your leverage. For example, you can go for long or short. In this case, we want to open a long position, of course, for Bitcoin. And uh, so we are going to go click on here, right here on long, and we can type in the leverage that we want to use. So you can go up to 125x leverage, but in this case, I'm just gonna stick for demonstration with a 10x leverage. I'm just gonna type in 10, click on confirm, and then as you can see, we have a 10x leverage. Now you can choose open or close. We want to open a position, and here we can choose the position type. In this case, I would recommend you just use a market order. You could use a limit order and type in a certain price at which you want your position to be opened. But in this case, we're just gonna stick with market. And then as you can see, to be executed at the best price. So it's just gonna open immediately at the current price. Um, all right, so now down here, you can uh, type in your position size. You can switch it between Bitcoin or USDT. You can also switch between the cost value, which would mean how much of your own capital is going into that position or nominal value, which would mean the entire position size with the leverage. For example, $100 of your own capital, the position, but as we are using a 10X leverage, the nominal value would be 
a thousand dollars, of course. So I would oh, I always leave it on nominal value USDT because it's easier for me to understand what's going on. And then you could either type in the amount right here manually, uh, for example, a thousand dollars, or um, you can just um, use this slider down here and select how much of your margin you want to use. So as you can see, we have three hundred dollars available. So if I go here and go to a hundred percent, this would mean I'm using all of my three hundred dollars for this position size right here. It's not exactly because it's always calculating in Bitcoin. So you, yeah, some sense is always not uh, directly on spot. But yeah, if I go to 100%, we were using all of our leverage. And in this case, it would mean with a 10x leverage, of course, our position size will be $3,000 approximately. But in this case, let's go for, for example, for 50%. So we are using $150 of our own capital. And then you can also add a take profit and stop loss and type in your take profit price or stop loss price right here. But I'm going to show you that later on because I think it's much easier to understand and actually more visible if we do that uh, later on. But you could also do it here. All right, so let's actually open the position. So we're going to click on buy long here. See your details right here. Just click on confirm. And then we have our position opened as you can see down here. All right, so let's go into everything that we can see down here. So we can see, okay, we have a long position. It's a 10x leverage, Bitcoin, USDT, isolated um, mode as we have selected everything up here. And then we can see, okay, the position size, in this case, it's 0 0.07 Bitcoin. If you go up here, you can also read what it's actually showing. Um, and here we can also see where we opened our position, at what price, and what the current price also is. We can see our margin, for example, in this case, it's $150, and down here we can see our liquidation price. You could also click on here, edit, and then you can, for example, increase your margin. Uh, as you know, we have $150 in position, but I have $300 in total on my um, futures account right here, so I could add another $150 to my margin. So okay, I could add, for example, $100 of margin, and this would, uh, lower my liquidation price. As you know, liquidation price, if you don't have a stop loss, we're going to set one right now, but if you would not have used a stop loss, this will be the price where your position will be closed and you will lose this entire margin right here because we're using leverage. Of course, that's not at zero. It's a little bit higher and this is the reason for that and we could increase or decrease our margin and in this case, of course, affect our liquidation price. All right, so next up here, we have our realized and unrealized profit. If you close, for example, half of your position, some profit would be in, in this case here. And here we can see our profit and loss. In this case, it's 15 cents in profit, which would mean a return on invest of 0.1% of calculated from our own capital right here. For example, if we have $150 in profit, this would mean 100% right here from our own capital because it's basically doubled. All right, so that's it for that. And now I want to show you how you can also add a stop loss and take profit. So that's going and uh, you can do that right here. For example, you can add a take profit and say at what price, let's say, for example, at $21,100, for example, right now we are at around uh, 21,000. Um, and this would mean a 5% gain and we want to close the entire position. This would mean an, a profit of $8. Okay, so you could also say, for example, okay, let's go a little bit higher, 21,500. And as you can see, this would mean a 25% return, which would mean $37. Um, you can leave it at that, or you can also, which I really like, is click on here, right here, on return on invest, and then, for example, say, okay, at 30%, profit or at whatever, at 32% profit, I want to close my position. And then it will automatically calculate the price for you. At this case, it's $21,645. And you will have a profit of approximately 47 US dollars. Then I can just click on confirm, click on confirm, and then I have my stop loss set. You can also see that by that little one up here. And if you click on that right here, and then you go to take profit and stop loss orders, as you can see, we have the TP take profit right here. You're closing our entire position at that price. So here you can see that you have your take profit set. Let's go back to our position and also add a stop loss. It, it just works the same. I can just click on here and say, okay, if I go at minus 5%, for example, it automatically calculates my price. In this case, $20,875. Uh, $20, and I want to close the entire position. This would mean, okay, I would have a loss of minus $7.4 click on confirm, confirm, and then I have my stop loss set as well. If I go back here to open orders, I can see them again, my take profit and my stop loss. And I can also edit them. For example, I could say, all right, let's go back to my take profit. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to close it 
at uh, the, what, what did I say, 32%, I want to close it at, let's say, 50%, and then it automatically changes my price, and it says, okay, in this case, 74 US dollars. I can click on confirm, and then I have it changed up here. I could also cancel them, for example, if I want to, and set new ones, as you know, over these buttons right here, and that's basically it for the take profit and stop loss. All right. Now, lastly, I want to show you how you can also close your position. I, of course, I could leave it just open right now and wait until either my take profit or stop loss is hit or just watch the position, maybe close some of it uh, or just yeah, change the take profit and stop loss, of course. Now, I just want to show you how you can immediately close your position too. And you can do that by just, um, for example, you could type in a certain price right here and then uh, say at which, uh, how much of your amount you want to close, for example, 50%, 100%, 100% would mean this 0 0.07 Bitcoin, which you can also see is your position size right here. If I say, for example, 50%, it uh, just put, makes it in half, and then, yeah, you're gonna close half of your position and half of your, you're taking half of your profit or loss in this case. Um, all right, so in this case, I just wanna close the entire position, so I'm going to 100%. If I click on close right here, it's gonna, do it at that price. But if I just click on flash close, it's gonna yeah, j act just like a market order and it's clo gonna close the position immediately. So in this case, I have 100% selected and now I can just click on flash close. It's gonna close the entire position at the current price. And then if I, if I click on confirm, as you can see, my position is completely closed right now. And that's already it. Don't forget to create an account on BitGate by using the link down from the video description to get all these nice bonuses that you can see right here. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.